What's good, you guys? Coming back to y'all with a quick video. So in this video, I'm going to get short, sweet, and to the point. Stop blaming God. Stop saying that what we go through is God's fault. Stop blaming God. Too many people tell me, where was God when this was happening to me? Narcissists or regular people in general, I've heard this so many times. Where was God when I was going through this? Now, it's going to get a bit controversial with some people because some people are just, they just don't believe in God, you know. And too many times we blame God. I've done this. I've been there. You know, where was God when this was happening? Where was God when that was happening? Why did this happen? I didn't ask to come here. Everything we think we could possibly say that's going to make us feel better, like it's not our fault. Right? But that's not going to free us from what's actually going on. God isn't going to put on a cape and come and save you. That's not the way he operates. We all know faith without works is dead. We all know that. And we all know that when we meet somebody and there's confusion in the beginning, God is not the author of confusion. Whatever it is that God does, he does it well. And it's going to stick. It's going to actually work out. Whenever his hand is into something... You get good results. Always good results. Always the best results for you is what he provides. So as far as just blaming God, oh, it was God's fault. Oh, when this happened to me in my childhood or that happened to me, where was God? That's not the way this thing actually works out. We have a rule book to follow. You guys, when we don't follow that book, we're living outside of God's will. We're living outside of covenant. We're living outside of his will. So all decisions that are being made, his hands are not in it. The narcissist... It's all in the Bible, y'all. It's throughout the Bible. The Bible constantly speaks about narcissism. And so, y'all, we just overlooked all this stuff. We're so busy blaming God. Where was God? Well, he never left. He didn't go anywhere. He was there the whole time. As a matter of fact, he saw everything. But we still have rules to follow. And when we don't follow the rules, you know, that's what the rule book is for. Like I said, it's going to get a bit controversial, I'm sure. But that's what the rule book is for. When we don't follow the rules, things tend to happen and linger around in our families. And this is why we have to remember we're here to break generational curses. He isn't going to come just save the day because something's going on with you. Y'all, we got to stop blaming God. We got to stop sitting down saying, oh, where was God? Why did he allow this? It's funny how we allow God to make all these decisions in our life when we need money, we want to go do this, or want to go do that, or we need this, or we need that. Well, we choose and make, where is God? No one calls on God for that. We want what we want. The flesh wants what it wants, gets what it gets, and then when things don't go the way they're supposed to, because they usually don't, cause, because God's hand is not in it, and when it doesn't go that way, we're mad. Where was God? Why did he allow this? No, why did you allow it and expect God to come and fix it? No, we got to stop doing that. We got to stop looking for God every time we go out and screw up. Because he's there the whole time. He's never left. He's wondering when you're going to stop. For those of you who understand what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. We got to stop blaming God. We gotta stop waiting for things to turn sour and ask God why did this happen or pray and fall on our knees then or cry out to God then you should be crying out to God even when you're happy even when things are going great when things are lining up or not he's still there through it all but what he's not fixing to do is keep coming save you when you're not even following the rules that's what he's not gonna do when it comes to having people in your life and dating and being in relationships, you're supposed to discern God then. Talk with God then. Make sure he's okay with the choice that you're making. We're so busy making our own choices and then we need God to come clean up the mess. He started cleaning up the mess. We gotta stop doing that. You know, God doesn't make mistakes. Whatever he does, he does it well. If these people were meant for you, God wouldn't keep warning you the whole entire time to get away. You wouldn't keep seeing things that you know another 
human would not do. Somebody who's human wouldn't behave this way. So you got to remember, God had God was warning you. The Holy Spirit was there to tell you everything. But we decided to, you know, ignore that. We, we didn't need God for that. We wanted what we wanted. Now we got to stop blaming God. God is not at fault. God is not at fault. It's not God's fault. It'll never be God's fault. It'll never be. But that's it, guys. I just wanted to come and, you know, make y'all a quick little video that was on my heart to let y'all know we got to stop, you know, blaming God for things that we choose to do. You know, he's been cleaning up our mess for a long time. But like I said, for those of you who understand, for those of you who get it, you get it. But yeah, guys, take the time out. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys.